in order to you know work the price management completely and smoothly so the first one is you have to go to the setup to work with that data we have to work with the context definition and hello everyone welcome to our new video regarding the revenue cloud uh, formerly known as the revenue life cycle management or rlm so today we are going to talk about the price management all the salesforce pricing and all the features that is related to salesforce price in the revenue cloud okay so in simple terms salesforce pricing helps organizations deliver consistent compliant and accurate pricing every single time across every channel so whether it's creating quotes meaning um, managing discounts or handling multi-product bundles these tools ensures that your sales teams always price products correctly and confidently okay so with salesforce pricing you can uh, do a couple of things directly mainly the purpose of salesforce pricing so define product prices that align with your company pricing policies okay customize how discounts and price adjustments are applied on each of the product and also we can give the sales representative a real-time visibility into the accurate prices even when building large and complex quotes so they will get to know like which price will apply and how how the system works behind the scene for the pricing and the best part you know the representative can apply promotions and instantly see how they impact the final customer price all in one so let's quickly have a look on each of the components that is present in the price management home screen so first we have the price book so the price book is a list of products and their associated based prices okay so salesforce pricing includes a predefined standard price book or you can create your own standard price book and for pricing to work on your product so all of your products must have to be listed in a price book unless the pricing will not work in your product okay so the next thing we have here is the pricing procedure so pricing procedure are a series of customizable and order steps that are used to calculate the final price of a product each step in a pricing procedure is called a pricing element so use this structure approach to automate your pricing strategies and policies so that's why you are using the pricing procedures next moving to the price adjustment schedules so the price adjustment schedules are pre-configured rules that provide the foundation for quickly updating a product's price based on factors such as product quantity or attributes so price adjustment schedule give you control and adaptability for establishing the pricing strategies without any extensive setup okay so here you can you know adjust the price based on the attributes based on the quantity based on the volume so these are something we are going to look up in now the next part of the video where we are going to you know create each one of these okay and last one is the product so this is you know we have already seen the product in the product catalog management as well so this is kind of a same thing where we can view all the products that currently we have so mainly the list of products we can see in the product next we have the guided setup you can see here the guided setup so you have to you know please make sure before creating the pricing and all you go through each one of these okay and and you can implement each one of these using the guided setup so this is from the salesforce end for the new users who are new to the pricing new to the revenue cloud new to salesforce so they can use these guided setups one by one and they can do the setup in the salesforce for us experience so this is all regarding the one that we can see here now okay so let's start with the price management hands-on experience so or you know after you creating the developer work for the revenue cloud you have to do couple of steps you have to perform couple of steps in order to you know work the price management completely and smoothly so the first one is you have to go to the setup and then you have to go to the salesforce pricing and 
then you have to go to the Salesforce pricing setup. Okay. So here you have some couple of options that we are going to cover in the upcoming part. But for now, we have to, you know, sync the pricing data. So what it will do, it will sync all the pricing that you have for all the products, all the quotes, and for all the pricing tables, the data we have that is sync across all the org. Okay. So the, the this is the first step that we have to perform whenever we are enabling the pricing okay the next uh, step is that we have to refresh the decision tables okay so for that what we have to go we have to write the decision tables okay so here you can find there are you know a lot of decision tables that are there in the system so what these tables are do that we are going to you know get an idea on the latter part but for now we have to you know refresh the decision tables for some of the parts that we are going to work so let's open the price book entries okay we have to refresh this one okay so quickly see what is the decision table in our pricing procedure trick so you have to use the font definition to get the data from you know several real inputs so in order to work with that data we have to work with the context definition and you know we have to work with the lookup tables and also the decision tables okay so here you can see so this is the decision table for the price book entries okay so here you can see some of the things like user type is the pricing that means this decision table is using in the pricing procedure okay next what do we have we have the input fields like we have some entry condition we have to check like if the product to id and you know the price book id and product selling model these three are the entry condition we are checking these as an input and if you know we have these as true like the entry condition as true then we get the data from the lookup table and we are passing that data in our pricing procedure that we are going to use in the later stages okay so you can see the input purpose these are the conditions if it is true then we are going to that the lookup tables and from the lookup tables what data we are getting we are getting these two data from the lookup table that is the id and the unit price okay so if we talk about the lookup table so you can find the lookup tables here okay so for each decision table you can find one lookup table there so here you can find the lookup table for the price book entries okay if i first go to the details okay so here you can see like the decision table type is the advanced so this is a decision table we can create the lookup tables from two of the things one is the decision matrix but we we are getting the data from the exact match and we have one output and decision table where we have to get multiple outputs so in that case we are using the decision table and here you can see we have the multiple outputs more than one so that's why we are using the decision table in this case okay so here if you can see on the table so you can see the product to id is this the product selling model is this the price book to id is this and this is the id and this is the unit price so whenever the pricing will work they will first check the product to id with the product id they are sending in their decision table so they are matching basically these then they are matching the product selling model id as well okay and they are matching the price book to id from the record where the pricing will trigger okay and when they are matched with the three values here then based on the record present in that table we this lookup table will provide the output for the unit price and the id okay so for example we have one product with the id this we have the product selling model with the id this and the price two id like the price book for that product with the id is this if these three conditions matches, then on on that pricing procedure, we get the unit price as ten thousand and nine eight. So this is all about the you know the lookup table. This is all about the decision table. Okay, we are going deeper when we are you know, doing the hands-on for the pricing procedure.